Hey guys, I'm going to show you a couple different ways to do this one. Um, Request is wanting to do a contour cut around the outside of this so they can change the colors of the image. I have two different ways that I do this. So, first of all, let's see, we have a bitmap. I'm going to duplicate it. So I'll duplicate it in place just so I have a backup. Now I'm going to edit my bitmap. I want to get rid of the background. I want to convert that to a object. Object background. I want to ask my white. Jiquan, just select that here. Eraser, I'm going to set it super big. So I want it solid so it doesn't leave any residu residual pixels behind with the feathering of the edges. It's late, I probably won't get into too much detail. Brain's not functioning well. Okay. Um, let's see. Create a mass from the object. Now I want to fill it solid. I'm doing the same thing. I'm taking a super wide brush. And I made a mask from object. I just want it nice and dense so it's all the same color. And I'm going to save that. That will save that back into my Corel. Now I can do a simple quick outline trace of it. Uh, let's see how clip art does. It's going to make me reduce that bitmap. Doesn't have to be real detailed for the way we're doing this. Now you could work off of this vector from here. If you wanted to clean it up, I'm going to move it out of the way for just a second so you can. This is the bitmap that was underneath it. And this is the vector. So you could, you could use the vector. Right now, I want to make sure that's all one piece. It is a several. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to weld the one. Keep my contour over here on the tabs. Rid of that little extra piece out there. Contour it. And I'm going to start with a quarter inch contour just to see how it flies. I'm going to make sure I got rounded corners. Let's go bigger. Let's do a half inch. Do the quarter inch, but I want to do it a second time. Got a part. I'm not sure how big of a border you actually wanting on that, or for your. Put that. Okay. The inside one. I'm guessing something like that. Um, 
close this globe so it's It was open right here. Take that, draw that circle, and I'm going to weld it with this outline here. It's all one that filled all of this in. Now, take the two of these and combine those. Actually, we don't want to combine that. Uh, let's call that one in the center white. Call this one black. Etching and can really do contour around it. That would give you a cut line. And that's pretty much all there was to that. Um. We still have a bitmap in, let's see, no, this is a vector image. We have two pieces now. We have the white and we have the black with a cut edge. There's the vector copy. Uh, let me put that back. I'm going to move that and duplicate it. That's a vector all the way around. That, that is, if we look at this in wireframe, we can see it's all vectors. This is the out, outer edge is the only one that has a outline to it. The other is just fill. So it will, center will raster and you've got a cut line side. Okay. I did not duplicate that. I got a backup here. E Control Z to get that on top. White, the black. Put over, hold the right key down so it duplicates it. Now I'm going to delete. That one. I want to take the fill out of this so it is just the outline. This is our original bitmap. So if we go back to Photo Paint where I had that, all I need to do is replace the color. Okay, there we have a white bitmap. I'm going to send it to the back. This is our original one here. I'm going to delete it. We have two objects there. We should have a bitmap and we should have a contour cut. Let's move it off of here and see what the crash is. Now I'm going to put a fill in the contour cut and send it to the. Oh, I lost my bitmap. And then move. There we go. Bitmap of the white. Here's our contour fill and cut. Select both of those. Move it over here. Check map so I can see what I'm selecting. Bitmap. So I want these two objects. Okay, there it is. That is a that is the original bitmap that I just changed the colors of, and it has a contour cut around it. Um, want you can, uh, which I suggest doing this. Let's duplicate that.
this one I want to change the outline black I'm going to make it 12 points I'm going to send it to the back and here's why I did that that gives you some bleed edge on your bitmap or your background your it, uh, raster effect so it'll be outside of your cut line a little bit so that way if your uh, cut line and your bitmap is a little bit out of progression you've got a little bit of leeway there let's uh, do the same with this one background I'm going to duplicate it I'm going to call the uh, on the outline of that black change it to 12 points and then I'm going to send it to the back so you can see your cut line on top of it. there you go that's how you did that if you want a lesser border or whatever you can change that by doing another contour inline or outline thanks for watching if you like the video subscribe I hope to make more till then have fun